Hello, this is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov. I'm here in Washington, D.C., speaking with two of my colleagues. Gentlemen, could you introduce yourselves? Ernest Hopkins, the Legislative Director at the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. And I'm Bob Grant, a senior investigator at the Gladstone Institute and the University of California, San Francisco. You are both here at Health and Human Services to talk about PrEP. I'd like to start keeping it simple. What is PrEP? The idea of PrEP is to use a pill a day to try to prevent HIV infection. The pill has a combination of antiretroviral drugs, which are highly active against the virus. And the idea is to see if people taking that uh, can avoid getting HIV infection. And you provided a lecture for federal employees about PrEP. What were two of the key points of your presentation, sir? Uh, the two key points are that this is a promising concept, but that it is unproven, that the clinical research is currently in the field, and we expect to start seeing results in the coming year and more results over the next three years. Why, thank you. And, sir, what was your presentation on, and what were the two takeaway points? My presentation was on community concerns uh, with regard to implementation of PrEP. And I guess my uh, primary points, my primary take-home points were that um, it's a promising tool for the larger uh, comprehensive HIV prevention toolbox, but there are lots of uh, things that we need to take into account, including how it's paid for and how it, the community at large is educated to its efficacy. Um, and uh, if we can take care of that, it should be a very effective and useful tool. Okay. One more question for the both of you. How would you like federal employees who you address today, but also the grantee community we fund, to talk about PrEP? What advice do you have for them? I think it's important that people realize that it is not yet proven to work. Uh, people should um, not be using it on their own. Um, instead, there are uh, clinical trials evaluating the concept, and um, uh, people interested in the concept um, can participate in those trials. And from a community perspective, this is something that, if proven effective, will provide us with a, just one more additional tool to uh, prevent the infections uh, for, for HIV in our community. And we feel like um, it would be a very effective tool, something that would be of use to um, key populations at highest risk for HIV. Well, thank you both. This is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov.